What's up, Bob here? Ready for another cheap upgrade for your Harley? I'm all about cheap. Let's take a look and see what we're doing today. Hey, what's up, Bob here? Got another quick install upgrade thing for you today and I want your opinion on it so at the end of this video please leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it one way or the other and while you're there hit that subscribe button uh, and ring your ding bell if you haven't already done all that so what we've got going on today is the previous owner of my bike just did not take good care of it so it's plain and simple and uh, for example on these crash bars engine guards that we've got he tried mounting highway pegs on and I don't know if you can see in the picture here or not look at all the shit that he did in trying to touch these things back up to make them look good after he scraped the living bejesus out of them I mean, it, it, it's just unfathomable what he did. He didn't even get glossy paint. He just put on like his wife's fingernail polish or something on him. It just pisses me off when I look at it. So what I went and found was something that was called the Pro Guards. And open what we're gonna do is kind of cover it up just a little bit without spending another 200 bucks on another pair of bars. So these pro guards, they basically go over the lower side, up there just fell out, goes over the lower side of the, the crash guard. And so if, if you're on the bike and you actually you do a little tip over, a little gravelly spot or whatever, this hard ABS plastic is going to prevent your bike from getting them scratched up even worse. Okay, now in my case, they're already scratched up, got that. But I'm hoping these look better than what's, um, what I got going on right now. And I am leaving a, a link in the description down below if you wanna go out and get them. This is just for the fronts only. I think they were $24, $19 or $24, I don't remember. Uh, if you get the complete set, if you happen to have um, guards for your bags on the back side. I think it's another five or seven dollars, something like that. But again, I'll leave the link in the description down below. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the camera up real quick and just show you how quickly these things go on. And then uh, again, you can let me know what you think. All right. So hold on, guys. Put you here. Do this. I'm going to set you up so you can see the whole dealio. Maybe. How's that? All right. All right. So, down here on the floor. Nobody around to help me get up today, so ooh, let's see how that's going to work out. Instructions say just to kind of open them up. You see how they're split on the back side. So we're just going to open them up. And open them up. Look at that. just pops right on. Then you adjust it to the approximate shape of where your curve is on here. So the way these uh, were designed, it was designed by an instructor for the high patrol that was giving low speed instructions to all of the recruits on bikes. And they were constantly tipping the big bikes over. You know what that's like. Um, you've seen it happen before. And so he developed these little slip on covers to uh, eliminate that issue. So what do you think? I mean, it went on that easy. Doesn't look terrible. I don't know if it looks better than what we had going on before or not. But at least it's covered up all of the ugly ass scrapes and stuff. So I'm gonna put this other one on. Um, but in the meantime, if you would, go ahead again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like the look? Do you think it's worth it? If I had all the money in the world, I'd spend $200 and just go buy a new engine guard. 
But again, this was 20, 20 bucks, covers them up. I don't have to look at all the scrapes from the previous owner again. So uh, in the meantime though, this has been What's a Bob saying, see you next time.